Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3. Last time we wound it up in this school. Uh, let's begin. Let's go meet our quirky cast of characters. But we uh, met Suichi in the last episode. And sorry my voice sounds off. Because my nose has been running and my throat is dry. So I have like a coke next to me. So yeah. If you hear me drinking, that's why. But on to the video. Even though it's a hallway, there are sure a lot of plants going around here. And the air here is heavy. Oppressively heavy. As it's forcing you to recall your fears, muttering you in anxiety. But this is a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? Oh, wait, what? You think so? You think so? What's the matter? Uh, um, I just felt something in my pocket in my uniform when I looked. Remember. I found this inside. Some kind of mini tablet computer? Oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. The word monopad is written on it. When did this get my backpack? My name, was, my name was displayed when I booted up, like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to him for now. Yeah. yeah, I agree. You think so? Congratulations, you can now use the mod pad. Alright, I know, I remember how to do all that stuff. Cause you can, you can save and stuff. Uh, yeah. Let's go, uh... Who is first person? Oh, hi there. Who are you? Um. Hey, hey you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Um. Huh? Did you not hear me? Okay then. Hey, hello. You think so? You think so? Huh? What? She still can't hear me? Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No. I don't think that's the case. No. You never know. You already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek. I felt her skin squish between my fingertips. Uh, huh? Poking her doesn't work either? Then maybe she's a doll. But she looks so real. Try to eat. She poke, poke. Huh? <laughs> uh, no thanks. Just do it. It's so fun. <laughs> I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. Uh, I see. So she wasn't American. Well, I knew that. Then why did you make me poke her? Wait. <laughs> I, 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 I actually did not know she was going to eat that. So she was going to say that next. Huh? Because she wasn't responding. Oh. Sorry, I don't know what that. Oh, crap. I had, to, I had to scratch my ear. But I dropped my remote. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. Um, you were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? Um, well, isn't rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. Right. Now let's talk. What do you want to start with? Right, right. My favorite Doraemon episode is 53. The one with security cameras and target practice. Before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Oh, my name is Demugi Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Sick. Alright. So you're a cosplayer. That's all you said, you freaking idiot. I guess. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. No. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You're the strength of most sexy or... Kaede, no. I bet it's because you've got people oogling over all of your turrets. Okay. Um. Kaidi, you sound like a creepy old man. Thank you, Suichi. Um. Normally, I don't really like girls looking like that. Actually. I just like making cosplay. I'm fond of others wearing them. But, but lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their character. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits for myself. With love, thank you for people like that. 
Wow, you're pretty intense. Yeah, Takis are seriously intense. <laughs> and thanks to my sponsors, I can't use materials that are just plain expenses. Of course, the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around them like I'm a, crowd around like I'm a panda pan. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know. Is that right if I ask something too? Earl, you always said you were thinking about something. What was it? Oh yeah, we need to ask you that. Nice job, Suichi. It's from that one thing. That bronze. That one. That one thing. Oh my god, I gotta give me some of my coke. I'm not gonna scream like you did last episode when I took a break to give me a drink. Alright. That bronze sir, I can statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Oh. Um. It's almost like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah. Now that I'm mentioning it, you're right. It sort of bothers me too. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. Actually. Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Um. Kaio, what's wrong? <laughs> that fried milk in her face was just sort of Kaiety down. No. <laughs> this again? I'm just kidding. Well, it's not that big of a deal. Our present situation is ma our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. You're pretty optimistic, Kaiety. Mm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know. It's better just to be carefree. Yeah. I guess so. Being depressed won't help anything. Yeah. So let's try and find a way out. Friendship Fragment! Oh, yo, what's up, man? Hey. Oh, is that Rantaro? Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? We both work alright. That's good. The situation could be better though. Yeah, totally. Hey. hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? If you're asking us, then you don't remember here, do you? Actually. You're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh? Everyone? No. Ask the others too. We all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either? You got me. So like we all have amnesia or something. Like that certain iconic playlist on YouTube that goes like dun dun dun. Okay, shut up. That's all we gotta get. <laughs> um, that's not. Mohan, wait. Oh, oh, I thought I heard like scratching, but that's my dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia... Well, I guess we're in a pretty abnormal situation then. Huh? What? That's not true. Well, wait. Amnesia stretch. I'm probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Or it could, could be... Or it could be group hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. <laughs> in any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I want the outcast. Mm. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell the truth, how I got her isn't the only thing I remember. I just forgot my own talent. What? You got me. Phew, I'm in trouble. I know it must be some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is that true? Yeah. Of course it is. And then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh, oh I never told you my name, didn't I? No, like I already told ya. But then I did, forgot I did, right? Yeah. You haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Ma. What's up? I can't remember my ultimate talent. You already told me that. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. That's just what a bad guy would say. <laughs> ultimate question mark. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. 
actually weird. I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my own talent. Huh? What? You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out what kind of ultimate I am. <laughs> and anyway, it'd be nice to get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Please. Stop that little we'll escape schemes. Soon. You really think it's going to be that easy? Huh? What do you mean? Nothing, it's just a feeling. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, alright? I thought he'd be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Dude's looking suspicious! Is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Oh, hi, who are you? Damn it! Damn it, where the hell is it? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, what are you looking for? Uh, don't think about me, you female dog. I already just met you and you all called me. I literally just met you and you already called me a bitch. Hey, hey I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaede like. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. I know I swear in my videos, but oh damn. Hey! You staring like this? Huh? What? <laughs> oh my. Help yourself. A guy could be the dream of landing up. Big. A big hog like me. Go on, get yourself a good eyeful. Uh, um, no, I wasn't staring. My eyes happened to look there. <laughs> I wish she just cuts herself up. Oh, my eyes haven't looked there. Oh, my hand just happened to grow here. Fucking virgin! Oh my gosh. I can identify pearls on sight, and you are definitely an effing pearls. That's why you had to wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. And that's why you hang your pants, right? To hide your. I'm not finishing that sentence, but you know what I mean. Everyone wears pants, though. <laughs> Everyone knows only pearls wear hats. Quit it. <laughs> How am I? Okay. It has been like, I don't know, like two, like one and a half years. How would I remember this? Like what they're saying. I don't remember the deaths, but I somehow remember what they're saying. Leave me alone. Like where have I want to? What the hell are you getting pissed off at me for? Tell the world you're sorry. If you started me those motivations, that lost me felt around the whole world. Hey. Your vulgar language I'm called for. Just who are you anyway? Seriously, you don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Beauty Ruma. Nice. I've never heard of you. So what kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gowns. So ones help you type while you sleep, read while you sleep. Even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. And now I'm gonna drink coke because I'm about to probably F up some voices again. Okay. <laughs> Though, this one time I ended up this really stupid eye drop contact lens instead of the gag. Huh? Oh, really? That's your invention? Invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure. Just like you two. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than that do stuff while you sleep, do stuff while sleeping inventions. Um. By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. What was that? Are you a dumbass? In this situation like this, I need to find some meds. Huh? Medicine? Are you feeling hurt or sick? Because I want to try. 
<laughs> I just want to set my mind free and forget about this crappy situation. And can you not moan? Wait, you can you just, just get high? You definitely shouldn't do that. Can you also not moan after every sentence, please? I, I just told you to stop. stop it. What the hell? My Jesus can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the crap I need to get loose really juice. So we cool are you done being mad at me? This there's a fine line between Jesus and insanity. But she's definitely beyond insane. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Is this a dining hall? Yes. The dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place got the ultimate academy of the juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. Hi, who are you? So are we stuck here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. But don't be scared. I'm sure I'll find this. We'll be out of space in a jiffy. I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Some of this wouldn't make me panic because I'm a maid. <coughs> Crap. Because <coughs> I'm a mage. A mage? That's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be a maid. Oh, I'm, I'm... I am... I am... I am The ultimate name. But I'm on X and press X. I am definitely going to... Screw up my voice doing that. Has me a big gulp of my coke. To get myself prepared. But I'm officially called the ultimate magician. Then why did you start off with that? Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. I mean, it makes some sense, though, since magic doesn't exist. Screw you. Magic does exist. Huh? Because I'm a mage. You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? Just a ruse? You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the wor world's magic lovers scatter. I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. That's pretty cool. It's all a ruse. Excuse me. They're keeping my magic, magic a secret by hiding it as disgust by by disguising it as tricks. Be Excuse me? Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a musician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. There, there don't be sad. Hey. Well, well, you could show us your magic, then we would believe you. That's right. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to when we were originally... No. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Mm. I see. Then what can you do? You're right. I can choose the cards you pick, pull out coins, and release stuffs. I get serious. I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. Oh boy. Alright, who. Oh, I. I want to go. Alright, who are you? I'm young, so I can build on my spirit and energy. Those who know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy. Oh, I heard that's pro do that. It still has to help you focus. I must be prepared for combat, combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will, I will, I will protect myself with me or Akira. Akira, then you're. Oh, okay. 
I was imagining like Keto Masters to be huge burly guys, but you're so cute. Cute? Stop it, I'm not cute. My face crinkles when I suck down a shake and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. What the hell? I see, but I think you're cute, right, Suichi? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, right. What's the matter? Your face looks really intense right now. I don't want to be prayed by degenerate male. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. She's... Oh boy. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Yes. It's a way big problem that's being uncomfortable. If any degenerate, de degenerate has to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. You're right, that is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey. Uh, by the way, what is Neo Aikido you mentioned? Right. Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Aikido is all self taught. Oh boy! Oh, more people, yay! Hey, hey wait for me! Stop. Don't come any closer! The boy in the right way is chasing the other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Boy, yo, what's happening? <laughs> Come on, wait up! Let me say, oh, whoa, okay. I always want to be friends with a robot. Huh? A robot? Are you not a robophobe? I have a recording function. If you're making robophobe remarks, I will see you record. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for real as a robot? No. Are you one of the Moto Cups? Do not compare me to those toys. I'm not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kiva. Okay. Ultimate robot? That's not fair. You can be the only one who can show off. I'll choose myself too. Uh, go ahead. I'm Rookie Chioma, the ultimate supreme leader. Oh, crap. A robot and a supreme leader? Neither of them make any sense. By the way. I learned a hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. You're not funny. Right? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't stand humor to begin with. I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should watch stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I'm a high school student just like you. You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Itabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He saw me in a strong AI capable of learning maturing like a human brain. That's why at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But the professor raised me like I was his only child. He taught me so many things until finally he enrolled me in, enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I'm standing before you all. See? And just like everyone else. Hey! hey do robots have private parts? Do not ask me ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flash for a robot. <laughs> I see how big a robot might be enough to call the ultimate robot. Hey Kokichi, I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Oh, I'm just the ultimate supreme leader of an evil secret organization, that's all. Huh? What? Um... I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an organized of an evil secret organize- Because I'm a liar. Oh, um. Huh? So you're lying just now? It's true! Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil organization. That part was true. Please. So were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey! By the way, what is the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret, you know, because it's a secret organization. But I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Maybe. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Everything's said so far sounded like a lot high, but that's gotta be a lie too, right? Yeah. 
season alone, everything he's been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because ro robots are people, silly. Dang. Oh, you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a robot punch? Can't. I don't have that function. Oh man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. It's no time to be joking around. Unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go and find other people. Alright, so I went into the basement and I just started back up the recording. Because I pause it at certain points when nothing happens or I don't think anything's about to happen. But something's about to happen. Let's just go into it. It's not crazy dangerous to me. Oh, some things are hidden where you can't see. You have quite the imagination, don't you? No. I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. Yeah, maybe. But we should go around in the basement too. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Is that a game controller I see on the mini map? Game room. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, it's a little boy. Huh? Looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? It's normal for, is, is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Well. Certainly is strange. Hey, little boy. What now? <clears throat> Damn! Sheesh, <laughs> what a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we have a game room. Um. Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways Isn't to that go. what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay. However, Maybe trapped her. It's pretty cool here. Compared to prison, anyway. Huh? Prison? What? You're, but you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. Oh, dang. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. <laughs> well, you're still technically the ultimate tennis pro. <gasps> and I am out of my coke. Gotta spend my- gotta fend for myself now. Ryama Hoshi? R really? I seen in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? You took down a mafia by yourself? If I remember correctly. The paper said he shot them for the head with his tennis skills in an iron ball. What the hell, really? <laughs> so I know that much already. Well, what do you think they'll lose before you choose town to kill? Um, but why would you throw at your future like that? Jeez. Because it didn't need a future anymore. Huh? No. No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly. I'm warning you. It's dangerous to watch this killer like me. I said that he turned this back to us. Ryama's four cards been added, and let's go. How many characters? Yep. All right, we have counting the. All right, so we found. I know it's 16 students, so we have yet one, two. So that's, there's six students left. Okay, let's go to the sliding door. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like it's locked. Okay. Yes, I would like to leave. So let's go to... Um, there's a library right here. Whatever will you find? As soon as we open the door, I suddenly get from this musty smell of old books. Mm. Is that a library? You're right. There are books all over the place. They don't seem very organized. Uh. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Suichi? No. I was just... I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Someone? No. That's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. 
Hi, who- wait, so where is she the old- she's a different person. Hey. Um, were you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. She doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaya Akamatsu, I'm the ultimate pian pianist. I'm... Suichi Saihara, and I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Please. I suppose you are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh... Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, and what about you? Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. You don't seem like one. I see. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? <sighs> Surprise. I don't look like someone like kids do I know. Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Um, but you're the ultimate child caregiver. I think children must like you a lot, right? are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. Wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. Just, I grew up in an orphanage and got sad out of helping out a lot. Orphanage, I see. Um. By the way, do you know anything else about the Monocubs? Yeah, that's right. Someone's, someone's got to be controlling them. And no, any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. Hmm. Oh, fair point. The Monocubs are definitely involved in our situation. Hey, boy, detective, shouldn't you already figure out what's going on already? Huh? What? Um. Well, he's a, well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well... Seriously? You think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think that a group of capable of that will let us just walk out of here? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work to take... If we work, if we work together. What? Work together with strangers? You're not even fool if you can you can end this so easily. Friendship fragment, yay! And she walked off. Okay, so I was looking around trying to find something, and I found a music room. So, okay. oh, wait a minute, is this a music room? I want to open, but this room does like it was made for me. Oh gosh! We are so bad. If here again? What do you think this place is? Check out the fancy fancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. If you make me cough, like <laughs> brutally cough again, like the last part, I am. I am not voicing you again. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be silent every time. Huh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? What the hell? Why would you tell him? We were trying to make it all dramatic. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Huh? What's an ultimate research lab? We want you guys to keep on honing your ultimate talent, so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pian pianist lab. But we set up the lab for other ultimates too, of course. Most of them are still hidden, though. Um, By the way, the reason this research lab is locked is... Is... Okay, we're still setting up everything. Sorry, we'll hustle to get it already. Wipe your asses and wait. Okay, here. You That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say hold your horses? Monica is such a dummy. What are you laughing at? A boy, you're like a boy, Monal Dom. Right now, you're on the threshold. So yes, yes, yeah, screw off. Um, it seems like the music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey, do you think there are really other rooms for this? Well, I mean, like this for everyone. Mm. I wonder about that too. All right, let's uh. Look for other rooms, I guess. And back to like searching. Oh, is this the entrance hall? 
Right, Suichi? This must be an entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey. Which means... That one must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Yeah. Worrying about that isn't... That isn't necessary. I've already examined the doors. Uh. Oh, uh... I wonder who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguchi. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. Yeah. Mm. Korkio, anthropologist. Please come in here. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? Okay, sure. Anthropology is studies, customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. And maybe even customs in your daily daily life. The orange of what you do not know. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. And for power, you shed the lights on traditions and customs such as these for a rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and other customs. Okay, I sort of get it, but it's not really. But not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's well, of course it's fun. It's a study based on humanity. Beautiful. Oh god. I believe that human beings are creatures that possess infinite beauty. Okay. Suichi, let's get the hell out of here. I found that all aspects, aspect, a, a, aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty are the other witness here? Shut up, just get out of here. Get out. Hey, we can go outside if we just go for these doors, right? You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Shattered? What does he mean by that? Shuichi. Then let's go. Uh, okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take that take that first step forward. To be honest, I was scared. Because what if beyond this just God jeez isn't like me. Uh... Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I gotta move forward. Are you okay? Kaede. Of course. Don't worry about it. Let's go, Suichi. I sagged myself up and with newfound strength walked boldly towards the doors. Let's go. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunset, sunlight, gentle wind, and a massive cage apparently. A wall? Before it's accurate accurate. What stood before us was both a cage and a wall. Either way, this enormous wall stuck a terrifying cord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Just what you said, we're trapped. <sighs> Surprised by the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. Meow, yeah, it's it's uh, it's so awesomely huge, I can see why it's called the end wall. Huh? End wall? Right. Normally walls are erected in separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. What are you talking about? What were we talking about? Was someone talking? Was I talking? 
Okay, she, she's gonna laugh me. Stop laughing and explain yourself. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is. So please don't bother. You can't get out of here. The wall has no entrances or exits. And they cannot be climbed or demolished. An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. What? But they can still sort of climb it, huh? Someone help us! Please help us! Look out, I'm not. Someone, anyone, please help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! I don't feel like strength right now. Beep, beep, beep. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Stop it. You'll hurt your throat! Yeah, scream all you like. No one can hear you anyway. Huh? No one can hear us? Hey. What do you mean? What do you mean that no one can hear us? Wait. Say something. Hey. One of you to answer. Damn it. Hmm. Right now. Monodam is ignoring them excellently because he refused to open his heart. <laughs> you can thank my fearsome boy for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. Shut up, we're the model cubs. Oh, wait, that's not model. That's not mm, come on, kid. Sh sh we're the model cubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. What is this? Thing school. What is all of this? You bastards have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find out yourself. Please watch yourself while you explore. The school is under construction still. Under construction? Oh. Okay, so nice. Um, Aren't you still in the middle of building this school? No. I don't think so. This is more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Mm. Either way, the construction will finish upon once we set the Exosauce uh, in autopilot. Huh? Exosauce? What part of a biker gang? Exhaust now work construction support their wives and kids. The robots nearly need a kind of backstory. Their steering wheels are on our leopard print and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. Stupid. Seriously, knock it off, you guys. So like douchebags and backstories like those. So Alright, bye bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> if we give up now, then what? Hey, Suichi. Let's go see if we can find a way out. I saw them inside the head, just, just for a moment to get his attention. Ow! Ow. You know? Suichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but if we can't give up, but we can't give up because of the wall. We came in somehow, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Yeah. Everyone has to cooperate if we want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Oh, I see somebody over there. Hi. Jeez, how do you even make this big ass wall? Seriously, just don't get it. I wonder what happened now. If we can't escape, then. What are you complaining? Huh? Quit complaining and grumbling, or you turn into a habit. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. The universe? Got it. Oops, haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. Sick. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> well, of course. Not sure I want to get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm still in training. I see. So you're still a trainee. You know? I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? How would you take the exam? Got 
could it be? But you've been hired so many, like by so many important people. You're like a super maid. Moving on, what do you intend to do now? Mm. That's a tough question. What should we do? Um, what would you do, Kurumi? I do not agree. I have no opinions or desires of what to speak. I am a maid. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. So, so please think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire for me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. She is the ultimate maid after all. Okay, let's go back out and how many others we had to meet? I, I did not want to cook that. Oh, we just have two more people and then we're done. Okay. Let's go find these other people. Oh, oh, this guy's buff. Damn. This guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Excuse me? Thank you. What? Huh? Thank you. Sorry. Oh, sorry for scaring. Um, don't the scary okay. Oh, damn it! Hold on. Going to scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Goto to me for the first time. So I gentlemen going to say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but does, he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh. Right, going to need to make introduction. Um Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Uh, Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta okay, wants cool. to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. Cool. 
Oh, so you're Gota. That's a really cute name. Really? Thank you. You're pretty nice. So me for being so scared at first. Oh, Gonta scary looking, huh? Sorry, that's not what I... It's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was a kid. Since you were a kid, huh? Kid Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. So kid going to play alone. That's how Gonta come to like bugs. When Gonta really focus, it's easy to lose track. One day Gonta go to forest to find bugs. End up lost. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah, took 10 years though. Huh? 10 years? But going to find new family take care of Gonta. Mm. I see, I'm glad they were nice people. Um. Oh, not people, wolves. What the hell? Huh? Wolves? Huh? But they were really nice. Cause of forest family. Gonta wanted to speak about an animal. Gonta. As thanks, Gonta wants want to show forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. How was being a gentleman going to thank him for that? This is pretty strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Huh? Wait, really? I suppose I'm the same, but there are no animals, but no insects? That's strange, not even one bug. I mean... You like bugs too? Amazing. Hey, what are your favorite bug? What do you like about them? Uh, no, I was saying I like bugs or anything. Wait. Do you hate bugs? Oh, so he's about to die. What? You hate bugs? That's not no, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Suichi? Okay. Yeah, of course I do. I love bugs. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, that good. No bad person likes bugs. Oh, crap. Okay. Hmm. That was scary. Yeah, I thought you were gonna die. I just can't say in bugs either, but I might have to hide that. Okay, final person. Where are they? Where is the last person? Oh, and there's the last person. Yaha! How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. Okay, that was I quick. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. <laughs> There's no reason to carry your bad thoughts with ya. You get up every day like it's bright, cheering, and fun. So is that Tua? Huh? A Tua? I... The god of my island, a Tua. He's always speaking to me with his divine voice. She's really devout. Um... Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh... I do both. I paint sculpt paint I paint paintings and sculpt sculptures. But at two is the one that makes the art. I merely offer my body as this vessel. So divine. How divine. I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. In return will you make an offering? An offering? Uh... Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out tr the trash you pick up. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just need a pint or two of your... Don't worry. Sorry. I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. What about you then? Me? Uh, yep. Boys, but that's also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on! It wouldn't hurt one bit. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> don't run away. This girl is so weird. We got all 16, though. Bang bong. Huh? I, I, I always remember that is spell is something that sticks to me, kinda. Kaidi, look the monitor. Thanks for you bastards! Keep your bastards waiting, huh? All right. Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. The opening ceremony can finally begin! We finally finished our preparations! You do realize you just read the lines backwards, don't you? Hmm. Jim? Opening ceremony? 
Kylie, what should we do? What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. You're right. True, but I am a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Okay. Uh, let's go, I guess. Can I... Oh, it's just teleport there. That's convenient. 